Water is an essential and integral component of all living beings. It is the basic need of all living organisms. Do you know that 2% of water exists in solid form? Out of the rest 98%, about 97.4% is present in oceans and seas and is saline. Only 0.6% of water is fresh water, out of which 1.98% is present in ice caps and glaciers, 0.61% is groundwater and only 0.01% is available for consumption. Hence, there is a need to conserve water. The major sources of water are rainwater, surface water and groundwater. The water vapor in the atmosphere condense to form clouds and fall as rain. Rainwater is the purest form of water. Surface water is present in oceans and seas. This water contains a large amount of dissolved salts and thus is saline and unfit for consumption. Surface water is also found in rivers, lakes, streams and ponds. This water is formed by melting of snow on mountains and from rain. It is fit for consumption. Rain water falls into oceans, seas, rivers, ponds, lakes, streams, etc. And some of the rainwater falls on land and gets collected under the ground. The water so collected under the ground is called groundwater. The level of water under the ground is called the water table. Groundwater is found in springs and wells. Groundwater is also drawn by hand pumps and tube wells. Water continuously moves from the earth to the atmosphere and from the atmosphere back to the earth again. This circulation of water in nature is called water cycle. Water cycle takes place in various steps. First, it is converted into water vapor by many processes like evaporation, transpiration, etc. The water vapor rises up becomes cooler and condenses to form tiny droplets which float in the air as clouds and later form large drops and fall down as rain. Water is very important for our survival but its lack and its excess are both harmful and can turn into disasters. Drought refers to a period a year or more maybe, in which there is unusual scarcity of rain. Acute water crisis can have the following effects. Soil dries up completely, becomes hard and begins to crack and eventually becomes infertile. Water table goes down, that is groundwater becomes scarce. Due to infertile soil and scarcity of water, vegetation of the drought affected area is lost. The water level in wells, ponds, etc. goes down and may even dry up and the aquatic life gets completely lost. Farmers depend on agriculture and thus are most badly affected. Many humans as well as animals die of dehydration and thirst. Unusually heavy rainfalls in an area causes a natural disaster called flood. Floods raise the water level of rivers, lakes, ponds, causing them to overflow the limits and submerging the villages and cities. Potable water and food supply get affected, causing a number of deaths, diseases and destruction. Flood water damages the crops, buildings and dams. It carries away animals and many other objects with it. Flood water washes away the topsoil, thus reducing the fertility of the land. Since only a very small part of the water available on earth is useful for living organisms, there is a need to conserve water. 
There are many ways in which we can conserve water. Avoid wastage of water. Do not keep the tap water running. Plant more trees. Grow plants which require less water. Reduce water pollution. Build more dams. This will prevent both drought and floods. And harvest rainwater. One of the methods of conserving water is to collect rainwater and store it for later use. This is called rainwater harvesting. And the idea behind it is catch water where it falls. Rainwater does not seep in the ground in places that are covered with concrete, roads and buildings. The following techniques are applied to collect rainwater in such places. Rooftop water harvesting. Rainwater is collected from the rooftop and allowed to go into a storage tank through pipes. Rainwater can also be directed through pipes from the rooftop to the storage pipe in the ground. From here, it seeps into the soil to recharge the groundwater. Rainwater from the roadside goes directly into the ground through pits, trenches, recharge shafts, etc. This water can be used later. So children, don't waste water. It is precious. Thank you.